Oh, I can't wait to... Just a few? Well, I'm sure it'll be good enough. So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I bet. But, but it seemed to be working so well in informal testing. Anyone I hit with the repellent just left. Sometimes they yelled a bit, but that's all. I guess it's back to the drawing board for that repellent. I wonder if I can make it into some sort of fuel. Anyway, I'll just take that. Oh, but for your trouble, um... Here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't, and that should be it for the second chapter. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can exam- I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and I'll be waiting here. Well, how do you feel? Well, lucky for you that I am. At least, pretty good. Good enough to fix this up, at least. You wouldn't happen to have a broken limb, would you? No? Well, never mind. Now, can you describe how you feel? Sounds like you know your way around a med kit. You could probably take care of yourself if I wasn't already here. Of course, since I am here, I might as well take care of you now. It's the least I could do. Ugh! How can you be walking around like this? No mess, no problem. Well, a bit of a mess, but no problem. Here. You know, for the next time you get hurt and I'm not around. Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. While you're working on that, I'll be following up on a lead I've got for a couple stealth boys. When you're done, they're yours. And who knows, maybe we'll learn something useful from the Meyer Lurks.
Hello. Whatever you want, I don't have it. are leaking around town. Find the leaks and patch the pipes if you can. There's only one more leak. Be sure to check all the Are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of... I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I've been getting a good signal, but what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? Very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp, perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Correct as always. And your feedbacks really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too sm- Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, 
on to the next chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old tech. We're in the last stretch now. So Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. It's the most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it... Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to... Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down... Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Oh, come on. Now you're just... What do you need? Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep... Good! This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. What do you need? I sure am. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Good to see you. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me your problems. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, to Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this. Indeed, I do. You'd secure your place in history. The man who rediscovered the Declaration of Independence. Imagine the fanfare.
Heroes of the United States will receive rewards befitting their rank, I can assure you. Your prize will be no different. I have in my possession the only known schematic for the creation of something called the... Bring me the declaration. In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives. Or the building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The... Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history. But maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. Hey. Good to see you. Hello? This place... I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. Welcome to the Weather Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess. Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to Ken's. His poor wife Cindy is at her wit's end. You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But they say Mr. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel, but I'm sure I don't know anything about how... I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. Well, if it'll help, I once heard that this place was covered in my... Hey there. Hey there! I don't know about that. For all I know, it's had survivors on it since the war. Maybe if you ask Bannon. He's been simply wonderful on the council, so I'm sure he'd be glad to help with your question. Hey, I have a daughter, CJ, too. Yes? Don't tell me your problems. Any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm. Bro <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke. That's what Cindy says too. But I got the itch. I need it bad. Huh? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad... Is that good enough for you? What's your problem, mister? 
Yeah, Dad built it to fight off the Mireworks. And Mom, she's like the Mirework Queen. It's a boat. A really... Hello, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, yeah, I'm coming down and I gotta get my fix. Thanks, man. I really need... I'm Flack. If you want a decent weapon, stop by Flack. Like, that's your real name? The names are good for business, and if you don't think I'm tough enough, just try me. Yeah? You need something? He's totally strung out. It's going to kill him one of these days. Fred, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. Find him! I'm on duty. Make it quick. If someone took your stuff, go get up. I'm Diego, the acolyte. I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders, until someone cleared the whole place out. But I don't really know for sure. See you. I am Father Cl She is the patron saint of- You would? We humble- Every- Yes, my flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to serve it. Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject.
stay away from me. What do you want? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. That's easy to say. You don't have anyone from your past after you. I just feel so helpless. Any luck finding out Try asking around a bit. Well, if it's all you could find out, I guess it'll have to do. So... That'd hardly be ethical, really. But it... I suppose it wouldn't hurt... I've got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. But I bet their book wouldn't have anything. Books are real. See if it's still there. And if you can download. The obvious answer would be a book. <laughs> but I guess there might not be any left there. So how about I pay you with good old fashioned. Who knows what you could buy. Oh, come.
Are you all right? 